Dr. Meryl Streep gave a speech talking about how it's probably not a good idea for the leader of the country to attack people for disabilities. She got a lot of criticism, and Hollywood as a whole got a lot of criticism for being out of touch. Now, that was a bad example of Hollywood being out of touch with the average American, because it was a case of someone defending those who are powerless. However, I do have an example of a celebrity who is 100% out of touch, Gwyneth Paltrow. Now, she has a website called Goop, and... Already. Like, what kind of name is gone. Goop? Like, I'm already gone. out. I'm <laughs> gone. Hey, you want any Goop? No. No, I don't. Whatever it is, I don't want it. Yeah. Okay. And by the way, she like we make fun of conservative celebrities all the time. To the best of my knowledge, she ain't conservative at all. She's over the top lib, from what we can tell. Yes. And and well, anyway, get to the what she puts it, or what she encourages people to put in their regimes. Okay. You just gave the story away. Okay. So <laughs> so the whole point of her website is healthy living, almost like some homeopathic stuff. Um, pseudoscience, that kind of th stuff. And, and recently, she actually was slanging a product that an OBGYN was very upset about. And what it is, is essentially a jade egg that she is trying to convince women to insert in their vaginas. And oh, okay, good. She, yes, and she is claiming that it actually has a, an effect on a woman's hormonal balance. Let me give you the details. The object is to be inserted vaginally to harness the power of energy work, crystal healing, and a Kegel-like physical practice. Now, you're encouraged through this promotion on her website to put this in your body and either sleep with it all night or maybe even walk around town. With a jade egg in your vagina. Okay. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat. The endorsement justifies the use of the jade eggs because, quote, queens and concubines use them to stay in shape for emperors. Oh, okay. Well, then, th then I got to do it. I want to make sure that, you know. <laughs> okay. First of all, no, they didn't. Uh, second of all, so you're saying, you know what concubines are? Largely prostitutes. So remember, prostitutes used to use this to please emperors. Oh, great. Can, let me put it in my vagina. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, for those of you who are curious about what a jade egg looks like, here's a picture. Okay, so it's just a piece of jade in the shape of an egg. Uh, now the OBGYN that was upset about this is Dr. Jen Gunter, and here's what she uh, said in response. All I can tell you, it is the biggest load of garbage I have read on your site since vaginal steaming. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> it's even worse than claiming bras cause cancer. But hey, you aren't one to let facts get in the way of profiting from snake oil. So uh, the word womb, this is, by the way, another uh, portion of it that yes. describes what it can do. Okay? On the website. On the website. The word for womb, yoni, translates as sacred place. And it is a sacred place. It is where many women access their intuition, their power, and their wisdom. It's their inner sanctum that we can access when it's not in use creating life. Okay, I think that the human body, not just women's human, not women's bodies, but the human body in general is an incredible, magical thing, right? And when I say that, the way it works, the way that, you know, everything functions properly, like, I think that that's fascinating. However, I literally cannot stand it when people talk about how mystical their vaginas are. It bothers me. Yeah, I, I can't take it. I, I'm 100% with you. You know... When you cut yourself, the human body closes it back up and heals it. It's amazing, yeah, yeah. right? So that saying magical, okay, it's a little, I mean, not how I would phrase it, but Ma yeah. Magical no, is not the right though. word, but, but I don't know. It's amazing. The human it's, body it's, is amazing. Like the fact that you develop a heartbeat in the womb and then you continue to have a heartbeat for the rest of your life for almost 100 years, in some cases more than 100 years. Well, the human a body is amazing. thousand okay. reasons why it is, okay. right? But the people who are like, oh, my vagine, right? And they do the poetry, and then they do they put things in it, and yeah. they talk about how wisdom comes out of it. Is that, is that what comes out of it? That your intuition right. comes from your vagina. Now, I thought it was guys who thought with their dicks. <laughs> so yeah. it turns out women also, the wisdom comes out of it. They're like, what'd you say, vagine? What'd you say? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we're being, so, we're, maybe we're being mean, but... Okay, so that was another portion of the website. 
endorsing these jade eggs. And the doctor chimes in on this portion of it as well. She says the vulva, vagina, cervix, and uterus are not intuition repositories, and neither are they sources of power or wisdom. Uh, in fact, I find that assertion insulting. Do you really mean that a woman who does not have a uterus is less effective? Is a woman without a vagina less intelligent? Is a woman who had a vulvectomy due to cancer less creative? So she goes on and on about how th these are just ridiculous things to tell people, but I think the most important thing that she touches on is that this is not a healthy thing to do to your body because jade happens to be porous, it can contain bacteria, and if you put that foreign object inside of you, it could actually lead to you know, a yeast infection, a toxic shock syndrome, a, a bunch of unhealthy things. So please do not believe in all these crazy ideas. Don't put things in there unless it's medical grade silicone and it's, it's meant for that part of your body. You see what I'm saying? Like, don't, this kind of stuff makes me crazy. And also it is super out of touch. Like this is the kind of stuff that I think the average American reads and they retain the information, but only remember it as, oh my God, people from Hollywood are crazy. Yeah. So. Look, I kid around, and yeah, I'm a bad man about you know how your regime talks to you and gives you wisdom and power. And I know that some people are using that as a metaphor, and I'm being a jerk about it. And I got, I hope you're using it as a metaphor. But there is something serious in the story, as Anna's pointing out. Uh, it's not. Look, there's a no, number of things that can go wrong here. Sure, yeast infection, etc. Number. The one thing that is good is you could apparently do the Kegel exercises. The Kegel uh, exercises. Kegel exercises yeah. with the jade egg. So she says that that you could do, right? You can do it without the jade egg. She's not advocating for it with the jade egg. She's like, if you want to do the Kegel exercises, I get it because that can help some women um, when it comes to achieving orgasm and stuff like right, that. Right, but so. she's like, but don't walk. Even so, don't walk around with it because then that affects other muscles and, and could be problematic for you mm -hmm. if you leave it in for a long time or walk around town with it. But to me the most important part is that when they when she says that they somehow balance hormones, she's like, see that is not true, that's literally biologically impossible. Mm -hmm. So if you're telling people that it's going to balance your hormones, man, right, that you're lying to them, so don't do that. So you're both goofy and wrong. That's a bad combination. Yes. And and so look. By the way, the thing with the rocks drives me crazy. My uncle, mm -hmm. he's a good guy. He lives in Turkey, right? He had a serious heart problem, mm -hmm. and his son's like a bit of a shaman, and they bring him, and then they put the rocks on him and stuff. And then after a while, he's like, "Yeah, that's ridiculous." He takes the rocks, throws them away, <laughs> goes and gets heart surgery, and then he's fine. Now, final ironic ending to that story, mm -hmm. you know who his heart surgeon was? Dr. Oz. Dr. Oz. If you want to see this happen, donate three bucks, 20 bucks, 27 bucks, whatever you can afford. You know that if everybody that's watching this video donated right now, we could stop the fundraising because we'd have enough. So go to tytnetwork.com slash go. We'll wait while you make the donation. Thank you for doing it and for building a great new journalism team. And thanks for watching.